Hi there everybody. You may have noticed that in my last tutorial on how to how to change system icons that your USB or your hard drive icons were not there. I found the USB and the Firewire one. Um, those are located in our Macintosh hard drive, system, library, not core services but extensions, and then you scroll down, come all the way down to I.O. And then it's I O SCSI S C S I Architecture Model Family dot Kext dot Kext. That's weird. Right click it, show package contents, contents, resources, boom, there they are. You hover over one, tap spacebar, you can use your down arrow key to view them. There's your firewire one. Floppies, <laughs> those are old. I don't know what that is. It's Sash SAS HD, uh, Parallel HD, all these ones, and there's your USB one, and those are that. So then you can close back out of that, get out of resources here. You go back to your extensions one, and you can go through all these. You've got your serial. You've got IO storage family. Let's. I haven't viewed that one yet. Let's go there. See what's in there. Oh, there's. I'm good. There it is. There. Oh wow, that's high quality. You can even read what it says. But there it is, and then there's your removable one. And uh, I don't know which ones you must change. As you can see, my folder icons have changed it to say JP Films. I'm not sure about um, if you would have to change both, because I really don't want to. So there's Storage Family and the Architecture one. There's probably other ones. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this one, and the one in the resources folder for the architecture model family, and I'll come back and show you what it's done. Okay, hi there. So I've created the new icon one. It looks like this. It has my name, and then I put two lights instead of just one like the old one. Now, oh, no, it doesn't look great. I might later remove that black label and then put the JP films there. Who knows? Whatever. Anyway, so after you've done the whole convert thing and you've got it back to your where it's called internal dot you can then take that and put it into the resources where the internal hard drive is. Let's do that. Grab internal. Oh, cancel actually, because I want to also keep it here. So command, control, pop, replace, password, and it's been replaced. So now I will log off and show you what happens. Alright, so as you can see, it has changed the hard drive icons, but it is very faint, so what I might actually do is just totally change the hard drive icon, go to Google, find a new one. But yes, the one inside your C, your, oh wow, I said C drive, Windows, one inside Macintosh hard drive, system, library, extensions, scroll down. And it's the one, it keeps going, it's the one called I, IO Storage, let me just verify that. IO Storage Family, I think. Yeah, it's the one called IO Storage Family Internal Ickens. Tap it, you replace that one with your modified one, and it replaces the one, your, your main hard drive icon. Um, as for the external one, I'm not sure if the USB picture is just an overlay that gets laid over top, or if it, or if the external one is the one inside I O SCSI architecture model family dot whatever. Um, I think it might be this. Maybe I'm gonna change that one. Come back, let you see. Okay, so as you were hoping, yes, I have successfully now changed it. I made the lines green. So it turns out that the it's, it's not an overlay image how I thought it was. It is just the one in Macintosh hard drive, system, library, extensions. 
and then you scroll down and it's called IO I'm great now I have to remember IO SCSI yeah IO SCSI yep it's the one in IO SCSI and then model family and then right click you know doll drill and then you just replace it I edited this one in Photoshop um, I finished downloading last night so I was happy so yeah, you can change any system icon now, and if you have any questions on where other system icons might be that you can't find, let me know. I'll see if I can find them, um, and I'll get back to you. There's a couple other places in there, in the extensions one, but they're all mostly under I.O. Like your CD drive one is I.O. CD storage family. As you can see there, you have your CDR, you have your CDRW, and then you just have a blank CD. And I don't know what one that would be. I'm just going to pop in a CD and see what, what one comes up. It's a DVD. Okay, pop that in the side there. It's going to try to start through DVD player. Yep, it pops up as a DVD disc. So none of the CD ones. So it would pop up under IO DVD. Contents, resources, oh there's quite a few. DVD, this is just that one. DVD.icons. Then you have your blank ones, high definition DVD. I don't see Blu-ray of course because Macs don't have Blu-ray, that's the only downside to a Mac. I'm sure you can buy an external, but anyways, yep, so there's those, and then you can just read through and go through them. You'll find, you'll find the one you want eventually. So thank you for watching. I hope this did help, and have a good day, because good days are good. Visit my website, www.jpfilms.site88.net. Thank you.